name is Hans Hagen. Um, I was born in 1971, August of 1971, at South Coast Medical Center here in Laguna Beach. Um, my father was a school teacher. Um, my mother as well. They moved from Waianae, um, the west side of Oahu, where they were both teaching at Waianae Elementary. Um, I was born here. I have a sister who lives in France, and my dad was an educator. And in the summers, he ran a surf school. Um, so I was around that in the late 70s. I started surfing in 1978 at San Onofre and uh, Doheny and the local beaches here around Orange County. And uh, yeah, it's a great place to grow up. Well, yeah, Laguna Beach, there's all kinds of amazing hangouts. The, the kind of epicenter of Laguna surfing would be Brook Street and Thalia Street. Um, in between those two spots, established in 1982, um, kind of the quintessential surf shop for us was Laguna Surf and Sport. And uh, that was like my second home growing up. That was like before cell phones and all that, we were like uh, latchkey kids who hung out at Surf and Sport. And, uh, and, and it had a sense of, uh, yeah, everyone kind of looked after each other and if it got dark and, you know, back then, you know, you, you had to find a landline to get, have your mom come pick you up. And it's, it's, it's amazing how uh, just a, a retail store could end up being like a, a, like a boys and girls club or something, you know, it's, it's, uh, it was pretty unique. But what happened in the 80s was really cool too because there was these filmmakers like uh, Jack McCoy and uh, Sonny Miller and then Sonny Miller and Derek Hind put together this search series. And that was right at those years, right at the end of my high school. And I was watching the search and they had the best surfer in the world at the time, which was Tom Curran, going to these exotic places and, and riding the best waves in the world. And some, some of these waves no one's ever seen before. And uh, we just watched those things till the tape burned out you know it was like like I am set I am gonna spend every dime I ever make every resource I have to go find waves like this I think uh I think a culture comes from participation I don't think it's a um a thing that's established and goes away I think it comes and goes and um, I could say Laguna Beach has a great surfing culture. It, it fosters its youth. It respects its elders. And everyone in between has a place. Um, it comes and goes. There's been, you know, dark, dark periods and, and weird periods where people don't pick it up. Or, or, and, and we've all watched it ebb and flow, but it's interesting. Once a big south swell comes again and hits Brook Street, like you'll see kind of each generation represented at a different way. And, and it seems to sort itself out, especially with, you know, we, we get highly impacted by tourism here and, and a lot of new money and things that have happened here. But ultimately when the swell arrives, like the true, the, the, the real deal, the guys show up and it's like, it's like it's been since the day I started surfing, you know, it's like, you'll see the pecking order start to make sense. And, it doesn't even have to be localism or any of that happening. It's just a rhythm that happens because of our heritage and our history. And, uh, and yeah, it, it, kind of a totem pole, if you will, you know, but it's, uh, it's not, you know, it's like a, I don't know, it's a peaceful tribe. But, um, so the Maliola Foundation introduces surfing and ocean activities as a natural therapy for cystic fibrosis and other genetic disorders as well. Um, the ocean and the hypertonic saline that, that is in the ocean when a wave breaks creates a mist. And that mist helps people with cystic fibrosis expel mucus, limit infection, and also, you know, just the, the idea of accomplishing a dream of riding a wave something as far out as that. And, 
and uh, yeah, and also cardio. Cardio is super important. Um, and also your appetite. They have to take all kinds of enzymes and different things to to eat. Because it's um, so. So, anyways, uh, it's the, a day at the beach surfing. They come out. Every parent's like, you know, little little Johnny. He's eating. He's sleeping. His breathing tests are better. His cardio is better, and he's sun kissed and happy. And we're all so happy to see a day like this come together. So we basically do that as many coastal towns as possible around the country. I just, I just have to have to give a lot of credit to my dad, who is a teacher here. He worked, he was a district counselor for all the schools and then uh, also his, uh, seventh and eighth grade science teacher at Thurston. And uh, he just, he really opened the, the channels for me, um, taking me down to Mexico, down to Baja, like back in the day, that was just the, the perfect, I didn't, we didn't have to jump too many flights or I didn't have an international, like international jet set lifestyle at all. We were very humble. He's a school teacher, you know, um, you know, we're living in Laguna. It was super simple, simpler times. And, uh, and, uh, you know, him just exposing me to, to Mexico and exploration and, and looking, looking for new waves and living simply and all that stuff kind of changed, changed my life. I realized you could do a lot with a little and stretch, stretch your dollars and, and go get good waves. And, you know, that was the, the ethos and the ideals behind it all. And that, that stuck with me. Tom Mori, Tom Mori's surf life would be, he told me something so great. We were watching a second reef swell and, and, and I don't know if you've ever seen that wave break, but it looks like a, a snowboarding mountain. It's this kind of slope, this slow moving slope that comes from an outer reef and it breaks for like 300 yards, maybe 400 yards. And, and I was watching it and I'm like, wow, Tom, look at that guy ripping that wave, you know, with his fins attached to the board riding in. And I look at Tom and he's just like, I'm like, you're not, he's not even looking at that surfer. He, he's like watching pelicans just fly on the, the ocean surface. And, and it just made me realize like, like there's so many different ways to see things. And I thought that was so beautiful that, that he can see the birds fly on the swell lines and that lump and how they pace along with it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's surf life. I think you, it's, it's something that should be opening your mind up. It should be uh, connected with nature and, uh, and connected to people, you know, and uh, that's, that's our surf life. I think that's what makes this beautiful Laguna beach lifestyle so special. You know, a lot of, some of the youth will come up and be like, ah, oh, man, you know, you, you really, did it, you know, you did, you did this and that, how do I do that? How, you know, and I, I just tell them, oh, you gotta be willing to sleep in your car. You gotta be willing to, you know, make sacrifices. No one's gonna hand it to you. And you just gotta be resourceful and figure it out, you know, and, and this life could be yours too.